everyone, it's Selena here with more fabrics. Welcome back. Today I'm actually get to play. I'm not selling something. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, as those who've been following me, and if you haven't, hi, hello, I'm Selena. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up. I hope you like this channel. I try my best to do some things that are crafty with the projects and products of things that I do sell. Um, in this case, I am using something that I do sell uh, for my daughter and I. We're going on a trip to Canada. Um, I actually leave August 31st. I'm actually taking two weeks off. It'll be the first time I've actually closed the shop that long. I'm actually thinking about closing the shop for maybe just one week, opening it up a week before I get home um, to get the flow back in and then um, go from there. Something like that. I'm not quite sure. It just feels weird being gone that long. <laughs> Either way, I am took I took one of the kits that um, you guys know the daily deal kits. If you don't know, you could follow go to the main menu and you can see the different videos of the past. Um, I just released a daily deal kit uh, where I make these uh, journal cover kits. So I've already did the spines for you, added a hitch post, um, the ring for a charm or tassels, what have you. Well, um, so I have two of them. This one's going to be mine for the trip. So. Those who have been following, you guys know, we're going to Canada and um, I wanted to create a journal for me and a journal for her and we're going to take it on the trip and then when we find things that we like along the way, we can add it as we go. Because in the evening, at the end of the day of every day of our trip, we love to sit down, read books um, and doodle. So it's like the time that her and I do a lot of that kind of thing. So I figured in the evenings on our trip, because we're going to be gone for two weeks, um, I got like vacation houses for each location that we went to, that we'll be going to. And I hope I can do some video footage to show you guys the trip along the way kind of thing. And I know a lot of times I've seen journalers do a walk through or a flip through, they call it, I guess, um, other journal of their trips and stuff. I'm going to try my best. I hate to say I'm going to do something and I don't follow through. My goal is to do that. I would love to do that. So that's my goal. Main thing is I really wanted to doodle and show you guys what I have so far and put together for my daughter's journal and what I'll put together. I also wanted to show you, um, I don't know if you guys ever seen this before. Um, got a little scratch or something on it. Well, it's called the, the um, L-I-E-N. Here you go. It's portable. You can take it with you. You connect this into a port and the wall and it Bluetooths like um, any photos you have on your phone. It actually prints out like um, small photos. Let me press pause and I'll show you what I mean. Some photos I have already printed, which I thought is great is because along our trip along the way, if we do come across some photos uh, that we like, we can print them right away. This is the size of the photo too. Um, it's almost like Polaroid, but better. <laughs> I'll show you some photos here in a minute that I did take with off of my phone. And then as we're journaling, we can just attach those photos in our journals on our trip, during our trip, instead of going to the store to purchase photos from, say, Walgreens or a CVS. Let me go ahead and press pause, and I'll show you some photos I did take with the machine. It spits them out within seconds. It's just beautiful prints, too. So hang on one second. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you guys can see these pictures fine. There's a little slight gloss to them. All right, this is my little Susie Q. She's one of my three cats I have. She's the sweetest cat ever. But look at the quality of the print. Isn't that awesome? And I'm just going to use a double-sided tape, and then we can put them in our books. Not these pictures, obviously. But there's my Susie Q again. She's a good loving cat. Um, here is, that's Susie again. I guess I'm a little partial to Susie. <laughs> this is Caitlin. There you guys go. Yeah, they just cute photos. Um, perfect size for your journaling. What I'm going to do is I'll link down below this machine. It is awesome. I need to actually buy a bunch. And these here um, are the photo cards. Um, I have three packs here. And I'm not sure how many comes in a pack. They're two by threes. Um, looks like there's ten. Seriously, it is way cool. I really thought it's awesome, you know. And so I need to buy more of these for the trip. But um, easy to put in my luggage. Uh, I'm flying to my daughter. She lives up north near Chicago. And uh, so I just put that right in my suitcase and ready to go. So that's what I bring along on the trip. And I hope you guys like that machine. So what I'll do is I'll put down an Amazon link. Um, those who know Amazon link, I do get some kind of credit for it somehow, some way. I'm not sure. 
but um, at least, hey, whatever. If you guys find that an awesome machine, part of your, your uh, crafty projects, then more power to you, right? <clears throat> and I get something in return too. So, all right, so this is one of the covers. She picked this one. Um, I picked this one. Uh, I think it looks like mushrooms. Absolutely loved it. Matter of fact, I found a, a mushroom page. I'm going to put in mine. More of a vintage dictionaries. I don't know. I just, this just reminded me of a mushroom. <laughs> so that's going in mine. I can't wait to get to mine. But my daughter, of course, is first. So what I had found for my daughter's um, journal, I was going through some of my old postcards and I came across Niagara Falls. See, we're going to Niagara Falls, the Canadian side. So we're not going to go from the U.S. We're going to come around and go through the Canadian side. We're going to stay in Canada. We're going to stay in Canada on Niagara Falls side um, for a few days. There's like a bed, a B&B &B bed and breakfast type of uh, home that we're going to stay there. And then we're going to go to Toronto, which we're going to stay there for a week or so. I had actually booked this is my favorite part <laughs> i've never been to toronto but um i had booked um they have downtown toronto they have like these big buildings sky rises i don't know what you call them but they have like uh condos i guess you can say and we had uh booked a condo um, up there overlooking the entire city um spent the big penny on it but you know i only get to go on vacation with my daughter once a year and it's usually around two weeks. And this is a trip that she picked, and I want it to be epic. And how many people can say they can go on a trip with their child? Um, and my daughter's 21. A lot of, you know, children at that age, they're either married, college, something. They're too busy. And at least my daughter wants to do these girls' trips. And I, I will take advantage, and we'll do this every year. I don't care. Wherever she wants to go, we're going. So she picked Canada, um, which I'm excited for her. Look at that cool card. I'm not sure which year. This is 1942, but look at it all lit up. I guess they must have lit it up, or what does it say? Um, illumination. I'm not sure. It says when the new full lights are matching areas. I'm not sure. Do they? Anyone comment below? Do they light it up or something? I don't know. But I found another one here. It says here, um, uh, it says at the foot of Niagara Falls, it's called Ice Mountain. I guess it gets really cold. And then there's this one here. Isn't that beautiful? I love that it's torn on the edge. I think I can make these into pockets or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but you guys are going to be a part of it. So I found that. And then I found some dictionary pages, which is really cool. Um, they'll fit perfectly in these books and I highlighted this one here if you can see if I can get it is Canada and then this one here is says Niagara Niagara Falls and so I figured that's cool at least I think it's cool <laughs> I'll be quite honest it was kind of hard to find anything Niagara or anything Canada I mean when it came to journaling so I just looked and looked and looked um, for those who'd watched videos earlier on when I was making these kits, um, the gifts of purchase for the kits, I had printed out um, these on coffee dyed style looking papers for you guys in the kits. And so um, I messed with it and did Canada. And my daughter wanted different kind of fonts for Canada. She wanted her faceplate to be this here. Let me see that one. So I thought today, after I show you guys what pages I picked out for her journal, I wanted to try uh, that glossy accent. It's that clear, oh my god, I can't even say this word, this menazol medium. Anyways, it's that clear liquid that you pour in here and it will create something like, let me see if I can find that one journal I had earlier for you guys. Oh man, just when I want to look for something, I can't, I found it. Here you go. I guys bragged about Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures, her her book, where she puts that clear solution in the center of that faceplate. And I'm going to try it. So that I'm going to try at the end of the video. But that is my goal today. I'm actually going to um, sew in the signatures on this journal. I want to see the the embroidery floss. So I used, I took one of the little embroidery floss, like uh, things I had in one of the kits that you guys 
got for the Daily Deal, and I'm going to undo it, and I'm going to practice with it. That same needle, the leather needle that's in the kit, I'm going to use it as well to show you how I will do it. But I really want to see the stitch work. So um, you can actually sew on, um, sew on the spine. I'm sure you guys, those who are experienced, know what I mean. You can actually sew into linen and then glue it in here, and you'll see no stitch work on that spine. But in my journal for my daughter, I want to see it. So... So here's the journal inside. All right, let's put this aside and we'll work on that face plate at the very end. It's so weird. I never really get the craft and I'm not sure where I want to start, <laughs> but this is the best way I can do it. So I had put together her three signatures already and I had clipped them into these little clips. So I put together what I'd like to have her, her signatures to be. It would be three signatures put into there first, second, and third. And then I found some really cool um, uh, airmail type of envelopes that are vintage. And I'm practicing and trying to figure out how I want them in there. Um, and then I, here's another one. She's going to have her own passport. She actually finally got her first passport. So I'm practicing with this passport port face um, um, booklet to pretend it's her booklet to do the envelope so we can kind of test. But some of you guys got these paper passports and not this past kit, but the kit before. They're really cool, aren't they? But I just might put it in her journal in case we do go places and she wants to add little things to this little booklet. I'm not sure. I need to ask her. So I found some of those. And then um, I'm thinking this envelope here, I might do in the back page like this. No, probably like this. And I want to glue this envelope in because in the inside that envelope, every trip my daughter and I do, we have this book. It's like a question book, um, odd questions. It's a yes or no, and then you have to answer why. So we do road trips. So one is driving and one's writing in this booklet. Well, I tore some pages from the book. Got to find that book, and I'll, I'll show it to you guys next time. And I have it like in signature form. So I was going to make this into one little miniature book. I'm going to tie this in right there. And then have little ties come out. But I wanted to slide into there. So then like here's for instance. I'm going to try to read this upside down. Walk on eggshells. Cool as a cucumber. Yes. Why? And then you have the answer kind of thing. I hope that's not confusing. Anyways, they're just simple weird questions. And I'm surprised during the road trip how similar our answers are. And sometimes I'm shocked some of the answers she has for some of them I would have never guessed. So just when you think you know your child, you really don't know your child. <laughs> kind of, It's fun. And I get to know more of my child. I can't say child. She's a young adult. So it's a really fun book. I tore pages from it um, just so then I could put it into her journal. And we have like little portion of that trip for that kind of thing. Okay. I found this really cool old envelope too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I think she likes to keep her seats. So I just might find a way to put this in a pocket to where she can pull it in and out and then add her receipts to it somehow, some way. All right, signature number one. This is what I have so far. So I think I did around 10 or 12 pages. I had this first date of issue envelope. That is what year? It says New York. New York. Originally this trip, we were going to go to New York, but um, we kind of, I don't know. It just seemed like the Canadian side was prettier than the the United States side for the Niagara Falls. Just my thoughts. I read some reviews and things like that. So anyways, I knew she wanted to do that, but in one year we'll go that side and we'll do that one time. But I just love the envelope and how it looked. So this is going to go into signature some way, somehow. I'm not sure. And then I found this really cool map, United States. Let's see here if I can open her up. And it does have part of the Canadian side right there. And I thought that would be really cool. Probably opening up on this side. All right, see if I can show you the signature. I kept it pretty plain because I want her to be able to do those photos and um, put in her own stuff. As you guys can see from that kit, these are the pages, a lot of the pages from it. I think I did this signature backwards. I did. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Here, this is the beginning. Sorry. 
So then I have these three different, uh, two different week schedules because we're going to be gone for two weeks. So I found this old scheduled like uh, pages and it has the Monday through, was it Sunday through Monday or Sunday to, I'm saying it backwards. So morning, afternoon, evening, my daughter likes to plan everything from food. She, she abuses her journals kind of thing when it comes to journaling. I am more of a whatever goes, goes kind of chick. So I knew she'd love this in her journal because she will plan everything. So I have that in the journal. And then every music page I pick with something of some travel of some sort. Um, yeah, so this is this is going to be signature number one. Nothing crazy fancy, just simple enough to where we she can just journal what she wants. So there's signature number one. I'm going to quickly go through these three signatures. And then I really am itching to try this stuff. Down below again, I'll put the link. Uh, for those who didn't get that link before um, for the journals kits that they got. So I did add the link in that one video, but this video, just in case you couldn't find it, um, we'll do it again. As you guys can see, it seems like these pages are redundant is because I wanted to keep it simple. Again, travel theme is the music. Look at that. And that's so cool. Fly airplane, paper airplane, some maps, record pages, and again, another really cool map. Kept it simple, black and white. Nothing crazy colorful. Um, I just wanted it simple. All right, signature number two. I'm sure I'll add some more pages to it as I go along. And signature three. I think it's just pretty much the same thing. Maybe some ledger paper in this one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, ledger paper. All right, so those are the three signatures, which I'll be another video at another time. I'm going to plan those, and then I'm going to sew them in, and you guys can see how I did that. I'm excited. I want to get this done. All right, you guys ready? Let me, again, drum roll. This is in live time. I don't know if there's any, anything I need to undo on this or remove. Your guess is better than mine. This is going to be quite fun. Ah, nice. So when you buy this, there's nothing you need to poke or undo. Nice. That's nice. And I like the fact that when you took, when it did it, it came out really fine and not crazy. All right, let me get some scissors really quick. Okay, again, I have never done this before. Maybe I can zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Ooh, that works. Hope it's not too foggy. We'll try that out. All right, that works for me. So I'm going to cut this paper. this behind me just in case it goes all over the place all right I'm sure I can hear I'm sure you guys are yelling on the other side of the screen don't do this don't do that we're gonna find out trial and error here um, let's see here I'm gonna try to cut this page just so so I have a Facebook group I don't post a whole lot other than what's new in the shop kind of thing. But I have seen sometimes um, you guys post some things that you do. Um, I'm not sure um, why people don't post as much. Maybe because um, they're scared to post what they do and, and worried about the opinion of someone else's view on their art. But I do hope, um, I would love it if, if you guys post more. Because one, it teaches me things and... I like to see what you're doing, but if you did buy one of those kits, it'd be awesome. If you don't post in the group, at least send me pictures, you know, like, and, um, nice. I think I did it. I think I did it. All right. Um, and either through, um, Etsy or the social media, media platform, you can do that too, because, um, I would love to see pictures through messenger, I mean, I may, I work hard on these kits, and it, it would be awesome to see. Okay, this is going to be tricky. I wonder if I should get some double-sided tape really quick. Hang on. Okay. Actually, I don't have double-sided tape, but I have regular scotch tape. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I'm sure there's another way. Comment below if you guys know an easier way. But I just wanted this paper, this paper, to stick on this paper without it moving when I'm doing my project here. All right, there's that. I just don't want that paper to move. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. 
a little more. Okay, hope that's not too... All right, I just didn't want that little piece of paper to move. I think I could do this. I actually took time and painted my nails. This will only last me one day. <laughs> Between cutting fabrics and doing what I do, I just don't want this crooked. And I have OCD issues, so let's just hope I don't mess with this too much. How does that look? Maybe a little bit further this way. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm sure there's an easier way. I'm sure I could hear you guys saying, no, do it this way. Okay. I think I'm good. All right. I am assuming I pour this stuff in there. To use, do not shake it. It will create air bubbles. Turn bottle upside down and allow liquid to flow to tip. Gently squeeze bottle and embellish flow on the scrap paper. Drying time will depend on the amount of product applied. Do not use a heat tool to dry. All right, I could do that. So I'm going to hold this down. And I guess I'm going to pour this in here slowly. Okay, that dries faster than I thought. Squeeze. I think I'm going to try it in lines. I hope you guys can see this. Kind of shaky. I had like a pot and a half of coffee. I'm trying not to shake here. And it seems like this dries pretty fast as I'm holding it. I don't know why I'm blowing, but I'm blowing on it. I'm going to hold this, and I have no clue how much time this takes. So it's kind of foggy right now, and I'm curious how clear this does show after it dries. So I think I'm going to hold this here, and I'm going to let go. And I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to set the timer, press pause, and be right back. Okay. It is 10 minutes and it's still a little wet. So what I'm going to do, since we've only got 22 minutes in this video, I'm going to just lean, move this forward and let that sit right up there. And I think I might just give it a day. And then in the next video, I'll show, tell you guys the progress. It looks cute. Um, I'm not sure if I need to add any more liquid or not, but we'll find out later. Um, the, those who know, um, I'm not sure if you know. I don't know if I got these in the in the shop yet. I think these are up to be put in the shop next. But I did give these in gifts with purchase of the last kit. I imagine this stuff is going to be really cool with this. Maybe I can play with that while I'm on this video. Because I really just really wanted to do that the faceplate on this video. And I wonder if I can do something cool um, with this. I don't know. I had some matte papers. I'm not sure what I'd do with this in her journal, but I can really see it could be for some other journal. If not, I wonder if I have anything interesting. I don't think that ship would really show up in there. I got matte paper. Sure, what else do I have? I wonder if I could do Niagara. No. All right. I'm not sure. I'll put that aside as I'm going through her book. And maybe I can find something really cool. Let's see here. Maybe an old stamp. It is a really small. Interesting. But I don't see anything that will tickle my fancy here. But... Wouldn't it be cool? To, I'm not sure. To add something interesting, I'm not sure what. Maybe I should hold off and wait. Maybe she'll find something on the trip, and then we can put something in there. Any any ideas? Comment below what you think. What would you do? I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, maybe for another project. But I see that. This makes me want to try some new things. I'm excited for that other stuff to dry. It's still drying. I'll show you. Still a little foggy. It's supposed to dry clear, so we'll see. 
It's gonna, I want that print to show up really nice in the back. I don't want it foggy. All right, I guess we're kind of stuck at that. Um, next time I'll have some glues and stuff to do the pockets. It's probably the first thing I'll do in the next video. Ooh, I'm zoomed in a lot, ain't I? Um, there. Jeez, how's right in your face? Should have said something. <laughs> I could hear you guys, right? <laughs> so I think the, the next video I will have the glue ready and I'll do the pockets for the fronts. And then um, I'm going to tie in the signatures. So then we can just add some extra really cool stuff to it. I might even just tie in the signatures and then just start adding some stuff for it. But comment below if you guys think I should not tie in the signatures, but wait to show you guys how I tie in the signatures. And if you want me to show you how I tie in the signatures, I, I'll do it. Um, I'll show you how I use a little template. I've learned a lot on videos online. I learned a lot from Gail, Cinnamon Tea Gail on YouTube. I'll put her link down below. Jessica, I'm a cool mom. I think she, her channel has changed to Paper Terrace. I've learned from her. Kristen, of course, Rock Paper Treasures. There's so many people who do journaling out there. I've learned a lot from them. So I'm learning from other people and I can show you what I've learned and what worked for me. So we'll do that too. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm curious about this. I, maybe I should have did one a day ago to show you before and after. I wasn't thinking. But um, the next video, I'll show you what happened. And then I'll show you how I'm going to glue it and mount it onto this journal cover. So, all right, guys. I'm excited. I have that upside down. I'm excited. I wish this was dry now. <laughs> it does kind of look like it's getting more clear. I need not to mess with it. I'm like... If I mess with it, I think I'm going to ruin it. So I'm going to leave it over there until the next video. I hope this was somewhat entertaining. Um, you're learning as I learn. And I need to find the lid to this because if I don't, it will dry out, right? We'll find a lid to that. And I'm excited to get this done. I mean, August 31st is so close. I mean, we're today is the 4th. I mean, I have one, two, three, three and a half weeks maybe to get these journals done. And... Um, I love to do it with you. I guess that before I go, I want to show you this really cool thing. So those who don't know Dee Dee, um, she's on YouTube. She has a lot of art and she creates a lot. Oh my gosh, she's just so talented. She's like one of my favorite people. Uh, Dee Dee, you're watching. I'm sorry, I'm gushing on you. She just, she just anything she puts her hands to, from acrylics to chalk to um god anything markers pens she creates the most beautiful art well she also creates stickers and she does a ton of giveaways if you like giveaways um and these are some of her stickers arts that she did and she made them into stickers well i fell in love with this one so my journal is going to not only have mushrooms it sounds like i'm really tripping guys <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> oh goodness mushrooms and this guy he is going to be right front and center. I am a gypsy at heart, guys. I love traveling. And I know it's kind of bold, but it's so me. I love this. This is so me. So yeah, mushrooms and a really cool peace out kind of dude here. Um, he's so boho, isn't he? So thank you, Dee Dee. I'm going to link her channel down below. She's awesome. You could just watch her videos and do your art and just listen. So she sent me a really cool letter. And of course, I'm going to put that in there. Look at it. She's awesome. I'll probably put her envelope in there. It's just, look at it. Oopsie. I should like, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Show the addresses. But um, I might even use her envelope in there. It's really cool paper. So I'm going to put that in there as well. All right, guys. I'm going to go and get this dry and then start another video once that dries. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.